We have new information tonight about the Southwest Airlines emergency landing in Philadelphia. We now know the identity of the woman who was killed, and we've learned that a fan blade that broke from the engine may have caused the incident. The 737's left engine exploded at 32,000 feet. Shrapnel from the engine punctured the fuselage and shattered a window that caused a rapid decompression. Oxygen masks came down and passengers scrambled to save a woman from getting sucked out of the plane. A piece of the cowling of the engine, that's the outside cover, was found today in Berks County. We have team coverage of the deadly plane emergency. David Spun has new details on the investigation, but let's begin with Alexandra Hoff. She's at Philly International Airport tonight with more on what we're learning about the woman who died. Alex? Well, yeah, Yuki, the NTSB did not clarify how the sole fatality of this incident came to be. Some passengers say that they thought it was a byproduct of shrapnel entering into the cabin. Others say they witnessed what they thought to be an episode of cardiac arrest. But either way, a wife and mother from New Mexico named Jennifer Reardon lost her life today, and fellow passengers mourn that experience. Everybody breathe. We are all up there. Through the roar of an injured plane and frightened passengers, this woman closed her eyes, inhaled with her oxygen mask, and braced for impact. And her flight attendants call frantically for an automated external defibrillator. Early in the flight from New York's LaGuardia Airport to Dallas, the Boeing 737's engine apparently blew, sending shrapnel through a cabin window, according to passengers, partially sucking a woman out. People grabbed the back, you know, from the pole. And there was blood everywhere. Marty Martinez, one of the 149 people aboard, said that those near the window rushed to the aid of the injured woman, while others attempted to plug the hole in the plane. He was one of several people who took to social media, uploading this video. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't get any text messages out, and I felt like this was the last, like this was the last thing that people would see of me. Soon to be father Matt Tranchin made an emotional call to his wife from the plane. I spent a lot of my time trying to articulate what I wanted my final words to be to my unborn child. While the emergency landing at Philadelphia International Airport was described as rough, passengers are still coming to terms with the loss of a woman who sat among them. Jennifer Reardon, a wife and mother of two from New Mexico. She died at the hospital due to injuries sustained on flight 1380. Reardon worked in marketing and community relations for Wells Fargo Bank, and her death marks the first fatality for an airline in the United States since 2009. Reporting live from Philadelphia International Airport, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.